everybody and welcome to today's video this is gonna be a super short video hopefully and i'm basically just going to show you how i make this beautiful art piece that you would have seen in the thumbnail um i really like this it's probably not to everyone's taste but i've seen these going around and i really wanted to try myself so if you'd like to see how i do it just carry on watching so for this project you need some acrylic paint um a nice blank canvas and then also some filler mine's left over from filling holes in my bathroom which is a bathroom makeup coming up soon so i started off by just smearing some of the natural coloured filler just on my canvas and um, so I just smeared this in sort of downward motions you can sort of be really rough with it just make sure that it's whatever pattern you like and um, I've seen people sort of draw patterns in it once it's on there but I literally just really freehanded it just kind of went with what I thought would look nice to be honest so when I got to the ends, um, it was sort of going a bit rough over the edges, so I ended up trying to smooth it over and then I ended up deciding just to scrape it as you can see there, just to scrape it off the edges. But again, if you do have any left over on the sides, you can just file them down with a nail file or if you have sandpaper with sandpaper, but I just did this to the desired thickness as I knew I wanted to ombre the colours. Then I grabbed my acrylic paints. So this set was from Poundland. It was a pound and they're only small little tubes, but I just love the really autumnal colours of them. So I chose this colour, which is called Burnt Sienna, and it just added a tiny little blob of this into the filler. You can see how much I added. Obviously, it's up to you if you want a stronger colour or a weaker colour, sort of how much to add in. Just always start off little because you can always add more. And I basically just popped a little blob of that in and then just mixed into the filler and it just incorporated it in really, really nicely. This DIY is great as you can sort of customise it exactly to your um, bedroom sort of look or obviously you can use it for any room in the house and it just looks really earthy and it, add lots of, it adds lots of texture which is one of the main things I wanted to add into my room was just lots and lots of texture. Texture just helps give your room dimension and it's just really, really lovely and sort of takes the eye up there. But as you can see, I'm sort of just blending that in. So I'm going to put sort of a half sort of line in and then I ended up sort of just blending it into the other ones just by sort of rubbing it into that colour. Obviously, just be careful because it does take a bit of the colour with it. So you might have to give it a little, really little mix, but I love the way this turns out. So I then added in a tiny bit more of the burnt sienna and as you can see I eventually then add in a little tiny tiny bit of black as well just to give it a slightly deeper colour just because I wanted you to be able to see the difference between them three colours so I did start to put it on then I thought no I'm going to add a bit of black just to add it in a little bit more just to make it a tiny bit darker and just have that stronger ombre. I would say the black just makes it a tiny bit more cool toned rather than warm toned which it was quite warm but I did quite like the contrast and I loved the colour it turned out in the end but obviously just play around with it if you then need to add more of the other colour in it, you can completely freehand it and as you saw there it is a bit of a messy job so I put down just a black bin liner which I do for a lot of my DIYs just to protect the surface and I ended up doing this on my bathroom floor anyway but just to protect that and then I literally just did the same thing as I did for the other ones. So one of the best things about this uh, art piece is that you can't really do it wrong. If you mess up, just sort of go over it again and again until you get your desired look. And there's no perfect way of doing it. Just do exactly how you see fit. But I'm so happy with how this turned out. really hope you enjoyed today's video if you do like this style of video i do quite a lot of little diy projects on my channel as well as lots of other content um, please give it a like and comment if you did like it and if you'd like to see more please hit the subscribe button and i'll see you in my next one bye